Hi, and welcome to the Eczema Podcast, where you'll learn tips, products, and natural eczema remedies from Abby, registered holistic nutritionist and founder of PrimePhysiqueNutrition.com. Stay tuned as she invites experts in the field. Here's your host of the Eczema Podcast, Abby. Hey guys, it's Abby here again, and I really love doing these podcasts where I get to encourage so many of you because I've been getting so much great feedback, especially from the encouragement series that I started, and I really just love sharing words of encouragement and anything that can help you guys. Someone who was going through topical steroid withdrawal recently asked me when I was going to keep doing these episodes because they were encouraging her a lot and they helped her to feel less alone. So I really hope to do these as often as possible. And also, I really like to use my Instagram and Facebook and my social media channels as a place where I can continue to encourage you guys and help you keep going on this journey. And I think that's where my passion is. And so if I'm able to help you guys, please let me know so that I can just keep encouraging you guys and um, keep creating content that will help you uh, keep fighting this journey because I know that sometimes it's not easy. I wanted to share today uh, um, some I guess today's podcast will be a bit different because I wanted to share some things that are happening in the news related to eczema. And I also wanted to also give you a quick update that recently two brands actually approached me and they wanted me to partner with them and help them promote their product. And in exchange, they were going to pay me a decent amount And um, yeah, so they told me about their product. They told me what the partnership would entail. And I asked them for the ingredients first so that I can always make sure that it's in line with what my values are and what I believe in. So they sent me their ingredients for both of them. And I looked at it and I wasn't actually very pleased with their ingredients. It really made me stop and you know feel like you know what I don't think I can actually promote them at first you know I did feel like you know I you know if I'm getting paid I can support my family but because of the ingredients it just didn't seem fair and it didn't seem right to promote their products when some of their ingredients just didn't sit well with me And it just didn't feel in line with what I believe in and the products that I usually use as well. So one of the products is actually very, very mainstream. It's on most of the shelves. Uh, Yeah, it's on most of the shelves. And it's one of the biggest brand names of laundry detergents, actually. And they asked me to help them promote it and... You know, they were going to pay me a good amount of money as well. But when I saw their ingredient list and one of the main ingredients was sodium lauryl sulfate. And this actually creates um, the foaminess that you see in a lot of products. So it's used in toothpaste, it's used in shampoo. And it also had other ingredients like like ethanolamine and sodium borate. These had an F rating on the EWG group's website, which has a concern of developmental endocrine, reproductive effects, and even skin irritation and allergies. If you go to EWG, which is uh, the Environmental Working Group, they always have a rating for different products and it tells you how clean products are. And unfortunately, sodium lauryl sulfate is not always the cleanest product. Some people, you know, might argue and say that it's okay. But for me, I really believe that we should be using the cleanest ingredients out there. The cleaner the ingredients are, the better it will be for our bodies and the less of a burden it will put on our immune system. So I really believe and I really feel that we should be using really, really clean ingredients. The other product that I was offered was a product to help um, with wounds and to help with healing and hydration as well. 
and I looked at the ingredients and they also had several ingredients that I was not too happy with. They had ingredients like BHT and propylene glycol, which also is an endocrine disruptor. And it also causes, uh, it's been shown to cause cancer as well. So I, you know, I just felt like, you know, how can I create photos for these products when, you know, it has these side effects and I just couldn't do it. I really couldn't do it. And, you know, I want to stand for what I believe in and continue to be someone who creates safe, clean products for you guys to promote and, you know, I I want to, yeah, share products that are clean. And especially since, you know, if you've ever used my Conqueror Soothing Dry Skin Balm or my bath treatment that I've created, you'll know that I chose the cleanest, cleanest ingredients out there. You know, I've been asked before if there are steroids in it or, you know, um, if there are any medications in it. And there definitely isn't. I haven't used steroids and I've avoided steroids and medication even through my biggest flare-ups. Um, and I haven't used it in the last 10 years um, for my skin. So I've been avoiding steroids for a very long time and I've managed to heal a lot without it. So I definitely believe that steroids shouldn't be used, especially in the product that I'm promoting. Another thing is that, you know, when I was first creating my Conqueror Soothing Dry Skin Balm and my bath treatment My manufacturer wanted to add some harsher preservatives in it. And usually you want to look for ingredients that are easy to pronounce and clean. And the shorter the number of your ingredients, the better. So she added some ingredients in it, but they were kind of, they had harsh, harsher preservatives in it. So I mentioned to her that, you know, is there a way we can add, you know, cleaner ingredients with all natural preservatives. So she came back and she made this, you know, help me with my balm where, you know, it has 15 really, really clean ingredients in it. If you look at the ingredients list, they're all easy to pronounce. They're all like very natural products. For example, you know, things like aloe vera, evening primrose oil, coconut oil, lavender, tea tree oil, things like that. And so, you know, she ended up using natural products to use as preservatives like the aloe vera, the neem oil, the tree tree oil, you know, which even the neem oil has very natural antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral properties that help soothe and restore the skin. And it's high in, you know, vitamin E, omega-6 and 9 and, you know, emollients and things like that. So even the tea tree oil is very anti- antibacterial as well and helps in, um, helps with speed up wound healing. So I ended up choosing products that were very, very clean. And I feel like that's more in line with my brand. And what I want to promote is just clean products with no chemicals, no harsh preservatives, because that's really what I believe in. So I just want to share that with you. So you know that I will continue to promote very clean products. And if you ever see any of the products that I promote and the ingredients have changed or have become more harsh, please let me know so that I can always change my recommendations as well because I want to continue to share clean products with all of you guys and um, yeah, just share things that are working and uh, that can help you all on your journey as well. You know, my Conquer Skin Balm and my bath treatment were things that I used you know, after giving birth, especially during my biggest flare-ups, I used it all the time to help with my infections. I didn't use antibiotics. I just used those. I ate, ate really, really clean. I took really, really helpful supplements, which I hope to share about one day as well. I mixed my bath treatment also with Epsom salts, and it also already contained baking soda. So that also helps as well to reduce inflammation. And it has pharmaceutical grade baking soda in the bath treatment. So it's a lot stronger than food grade. And I also added apple cider vinegar in my baths as well to help kill the bacteria. So if you guys ever need bath ideas, that's a bath idea. And I've also written a blog post on six types of baths you can do to help with your skin. So if you ever need more information on that as well, I'll include a link to it so that you can read up more about it and hopefully it can help your skin. 
But today, the main purpose of today's podcast is is really to share、um, other news as well that I recently read in the news, and it just breaks my heart when I read this news. So I recently read that a mother and her son were on a plane, and it is just so sad to read up on it. Her son and her were kicked off of the plane. And it was such a humiliating experience for them, because they were kicked off because of their skin condition, and it was a rare dry skin condition that they have. And you know, she just said that she felt so humiliated, and yeah, she she just felt like she was so upset, and. She could imagine that you know this would happen to them. It just made me so sad to see that, and I saw the photo as well of them and how they looked, and I felt like, you know, I feel like I looked the exact same way right after you know I gave birth when my skin flared up a lot, and I feel like I could relate to her so much. The person on the flight thought that it was contagious, so she wouldn't let them. On the plane, and she basically, they basically got kicked off, and she said it was the most judged and humiliated that they've ever been. So I'm gonna attach a news clip so you can just、uh, hear about it as well. New tonight, a mother says she and her baby were kicked off an American Airlines flight because of their skin. Jordan Flake and her one-year-old son have a genetic skin condition. She says after boarding the plane, an employee asked her if she had a doctor's note. Well, they later told her she would not be able to fly. She and her son were heading from El Paso to Dallas to visit her husband before he deployed. Her Facebook post has been viewed and shared thousands of times. American Airlines responded, saying, "We sincerely apologize to Ms. Flake and her son for the experience they had Thursday, and our team has begun an investigation into the matter. Our customer relations team has already spoken to her directly and upgraded them on their American flights. We will now also be refunding the cost of her trip as well." I just wanted to share this because I think a lot of us deal with. Humiliation and judgment and embarrassment, especially when things like this happen. And I know I've been stared at a lot when I've had really bad skin.、Um, I've been I think when I was younger, I just remember someone, you know, my friend's sister saying to me, you know, I, I met her for the first time and she just looked at me and she was like, you know, what happened to your arm? And she just called me, you know, diseased kid. And You know that stuck in my mind for a very, very long time, and you know it, it hurts when people say things like that. It really does. I don't know if anyone has ever called you names or maybe looked at you judgmentally or said things about your, you and your skin, but I just want to let you know that you are wonderful. You're beautiful. You are amazing. Just remember that you are amazing, and you're not defined by your skin. And I just want to remind you of that. No matter how much someone judges you or discriminates you, or you know, even this lady was kicked off the plane because both her and her son had this dry skin condition. But you know, it doesn't define us. It doesn't define who you are, even though it's such a big part of us and it affects our life in so many ways. But you are so much more than your skin. You are your soul, your spirit, your emotions, your mindset, and I think a lot of it is working through our mindset and our emotions to just make ourselves stronger and believe that we are not our skin condition. I remember when I first flared up and after giving birth, and I was on antibiotics for an infection, and it flared up my skin so badly, and I just remember. Going to church one day, and my whole face was so red, and I just wanted to hide from the world and cry because I felt like I was an embarrassment, and I felt like I didn't want to be seen. And a seven-year-old came up to me, and she said, "What happened to your face?" She said, "It looks so bad. It looks really, really, really bad." And then she pointed at my son because. I was nursing him when I was on antibiotics, and the antibiotics flared him up too, and it created eczema on his forehead, which I was worried about at the time. But it took about two months for it to go away. And you know, the the seven year old said, "Your son has that too, the same rash on his face, and yours looks really, really, really bad." 
you know, now I can laugh about it, but it hurt so much. And, you know, there was another person standing there as well. And I just felt so humiliated and so embarrassed. You know, and I think we all have moments like this that we can relate to when a lot of us feel embarrassed and humiliated. And especially, I don't know about you, but a big part of it is when I go to family events, I don't really have family where I live. A lot of my family lives in Hong Kong and also another part of Canada, so I don't really see them very much. But when I do, I remember seeing them after I gave birth and because I flared up a lot and I lost a lot of weight too because I was eating so, so clean, you know, and they said to me, they were like, oh, you lost so much weight and your skin is so dry and so red and so flared up and it looks like it's peeling so much. And I think my dad just felt so emotional and he felt so bad for me and you know, he just told them like, you know, you don't have to point that out, you know, she knows that. She knows it's like that. And, you know, even though we go through this, I know that a lot of us might go through this sometimes and we might want to hide from the world. But I just want to remind you of something that that my husband has said to me before, which is that you are beautiful and you don't have to worry about what other people say and what other people do. And you just have to know and strengthen yourself and your belief that you can overcome this and visualize yourself healed and visualize yourself as beautiful and not defined by this condition. Don't let this condition limit you because it is a condition and your mindset is way limitless compared to this. You can overcome anything and you have to remember that and you are as strong as your mindset is. And so whenever someone comments on you, if you define yourself by your skin, then you'll let that person bring you down. But if you define yourself by because you know who you are and because you know, you know, what defines you and you know that it's not your skin that defines you, then when people comment on you or when people talk about you or maybe you see them gossip about you, then it won't bring you down because you know who you are and you're you're standing strong on your ground. So I just want to remind you of that, that daily, sometimes we might have to do a lot of work to strengthen ourselves more than other people. But I can tell you that you are going to be stronger than so many people you've ever met who have ever walked into your life. Or if it's your kid, sometimes we want to protect our kid from every little thing. But, you know, sometimes I think that, you know, why couldn't my parents have protected me from this? But it wouldn't have made me who I am. And, you know, a lot of times, you know, we want to protect our child from things. But sometimes going through hard times like this, even though we don't want them to go through it, it makes them a stronger person. It makes them compassionate. It gives them character and traits that they would have never had and developed because of it. And so just remember that great things can come out of our difficult times. And sometimes hard times can really shine a light on the cracks in our life and allow light to come through. And so just remember that you are strong. You can overcome this. And I'm really proud of you for being where you are, for making it through such hard times and going through humiliating work, it's really not easy. It's really, really not easy. I also wanted to share something that Louise Hay, who's the who was the founder of Hay House, um, Hay House Publications, I wanted to share something about what she taught, and she taught a really strong exercise on mirror work. And so basically, it only takes a few minutes to do. You can do it every day or, you know, when you feel like it. But it's it's amazing if you ended up doing it every day. And it's basically sitting comfortably and finding a comfortable place to sit, looking into the mirror, looking into your eyes, inhale, say to yourself these words, life loves you. Or you can say things like, you are loved. 
and you are beautiful and I love you and your skin is beautiful your heart is beautiful you are strong and pay attention to how you feel I remember that the moment I looked at myself the first time and I just burst out crying <laughs> you know even saying this I feel I feel those emotions coming up but you know I burst out crying because all my emotions of attacking myself and feeling like I wasn't good enough and just beating myself up so many times about how other people have you know felt about me and how many social activities I've missed you know how many activities I've missed and precious moments I've missed with my husband and also my son and not feeling good enough and all those emotions just welt up and I just wanted to cry and cry and cry <laughs> and so it's so powerful because it reminds you that you have been through a lot but you are also amazing and life loves you life loves you because of who you are and because you are born to be beautiful you are born to be amazing and you can do this a louise hay says that your work can be very confronting at first because it reveals your most basic fear and your most terrible self-judgments but if you keep looking in the mirror you'll begin to see those judgments and see who you really are your attitude to mirror work is the key to success and <laughs> I think I took her course called loving yourself and it's really on how to increase your self-esteem and self-love by doing the mirror work and re really journaling about how you feel maybe it's feelings of sadness and grief that comes up and it's just such a good way to heal your body and heal your mind of the emotions that maybe have been there for a long time and that might have been stuck there for a long time so yeah i just wanted to share with you this exercise today another thing that i've been doing lately is also um meditation i shared this on my instagram but yeah i was doing meditation and one time I went to a church sermon and they said meditation is something that we all do every day. It's basically thinking about a certain thought and just spending a lot of time, you know, a meditation is anything we, that we think about and anything that we think about repeatedly throughout the day. So even worry is a meditation. So that's why it's so important to focus your thoughts on the right things. And basically... Uh, yeah, I started listening to this meditation on, I use an app called Insight Timer and I've been doing it for the last seven days and I've always found it hard to be still like a lot of people have, but um, I was really inspired by Dr. Joe Dispenza about, he said that he had a back injury which required surgery. But he would spend, you know, about two, three, two to three hours each day in meditation and just picturing himself, um, picturing himself and the bones in, in his back and his vertebrae just healing and healing itself. And I was just so inspired by it. And he ended up, his back ended up healing without surgery. And it was amazing. And another girl that I have been following, um, she has been in a wheelchair for a long time because of Lyme disease, but she has been meditating two to three hours a day. And, you know, um, for the first time she just got up and she just ran a few meters and she was so amazed by it. And she said, it's because of the meditation. She's like picturing and visualizing herself running and healing. And I know that I felt my best when I was visualizing me at my best. And I would visualize myself healed, looking good and feeling energetic and dancing around. And that's the place I want to get back at. And I just want to encourage you to visualize where you want to be as well and be back at that place. So yeah, the meditations that I was listening to were two of them. One of them is called self-love. So basically, it's like a meditation where it takes you through self-love. So you, it's, it lets you, basically, I guess it 
it goes through like a body scan it scans your body parts like it talks about loving your feet then goes all the way to your legs your arms your head and it just it's like a self-love where you just scan every part of your body and you just show it love and i remember people waking up or going to sleep and they would just do a prayer and bless and love their body parts and their organs and they said it could contribute to the healing as well so you know things that we focus on really really help with healing so i really want to encourage you for that too and another meditation that i've been listening to is yeah another one is called loving yourself uh that one relaxes me so much that sometimes i fall asleep <laughs> So I don't think I've listened to the whole thing before, but it's just so relaxing and you just feel like you're floating on clouds sometimes. Another one is deep healing. So I've been listening to meditations for deep healing because I feel like a lot of us need to do a lot of emotional work and heal heal the insides because a lot of trauma comes with having eczema, especially with the with the woman who was kicked off the plane. Like I definitely understand her. I feel like I've had so many moments where I've just been so embarrassed and let me know if you can relate to that too because I know that a lot of us go through really really tough times. So I hope that today I was able to encourage you through this podcast episode. I I'm just happy that I get to share with you what I've been doing to help with my emotions and to help build that self love and yeah just to help heal my body as well. And one last thing before I go is yeah I've also been working with a um, like a therapist and a counselor here in Canada. I'm not sure where you are in the world, but we get um, health benefits when you're at work. So. their psychologists are actually covered for some people for under their work and so i saw a therapist and we got to the root of a lot of my why the eczema was happening because you know i've talked to therapists before like dr nima in one of my other podcasts who said that you know a lot of times people have eczema or illnesses because they secretly or unconsciously don't want to let it go because maybe it gives them the love and attention that they need or gives them you know helps people care about them in ways that they never imagined so with the therapy it just helps so much it, it helped me uncover so many things that I really hope to share again in another episode but if you ever have the chance for therapy I would really recommend it because I feel like personally when we rely on venting to our partners or our family i feel like it can create some burden on them sometimes especially because they live with us and you know they see how hard it is on us and sometimes i just feel like it burdens them more when i you know if i constantly vent and so i found that therapy was very very helpful and so if this is something something that you can do i hope that it can help you as well Anyway, those are just a few tips that I wanted to talk about today. And I hope you have a really good day and thank you for taking the time to listen. Remember that I'm praying for you all and praying that you'll you'll heal. And I really really believe that you can. I've been seeing so much amazing progress in my 8 week group coaching program with you know people who are just they set their mindset and intentions to heal and change their diet and it's amazing i've seen other people who just read my website and they've found healing too so i know you can do it and i want to encourage you that i'm proud of you wherever you are especially wherever you are listening to this whatever you're going through remember that the storm ends the storm passes sometimes it might feel like you're going through this for a lifetime and i know i went through this for you know more than 10 years and Sometimes I ask God, why couldn't you just have let me gone through it for like a year or two instead of like having up and down moments over 10 years? And you know, I think there's a reason for this and I wouldn't have been as passionate to help people like you go through this if I didn't go through it for myself for this long. And I just want to let you know that you can heal and that this is a obstacle in the way, but it's not the end of the world because You are stronger than this, and you can overcome this. If you ever need help, just you know, dance out to a, a happy song. If you're in a really dark place, or talk to someone about it, or、um, you know, my Facebook group is always 
available as well if you need more support and just need to vent. There are always people there to help you and just want to let you know that you're not alone and that you can get through this. So thank you so much for taking the time to listen. It really means a lot. And just remember that you are loved and you are beautiful. And remember to look in the mirror. And when you look in the mirror, I know that I've always avoided the mirror. So try to look at yourself, smile, love yourself, and tell yourself how loved you are because it's going to change your outlook and it's going to change your life. And thank you so much for listening today. I hope you have a great week. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Eczema Podcast and stay tuned for our next episode. If you like what you just heard, we hope you'll pass it along to your friends and colleagues. Visit primephysiquenutrition.com for more articles and tips. Thanks for listening.